Hey everyone, so this nail tutorial is basically, I'm just going to be giving you some tips and tricks on how to give yourself a per the perfect manicure. And I just used my Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure Nail Polish in this tutorial. Um, this is in number 510 I Pink I Can. You can find this brand in any store, uh, drugstore. I know I've seen it at Target and Walmart, and I believe they're about $7.50. So basically, they're a little cheaper than OPI and they work just as well and they're really fast and easy because it has the base top and it has the base, the color, and the top coat all in one which is really fast and easy on the go, great for traveling because um, you don't have to bring like a base and a top coat which is pretty neat to me. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to use this and in the tutorial, in, in the tutorial, in the tutorial, I just put on one coat of this but later on I was like oh I should have put on two so I would recommend putting on two coats of this just make sure it is very dry before um, applying your second coat because um, I made that mistake before and my nails just turned out kind of sticky and not that great if you don't wait until the first coat is completely dry. Um, I just found the top or the second coat made my nails a lot more shiny and really pretty. So yeah, I used this nail polish and I gave you a bunch of tips and tricks in the video so I hope you enjoy and I'll see you guys at the end. Bye! Okay, so I actually have nail polish on right now and it's kind of chipping off. As you can see there, it's really ugly now. Um, it was really pretty when I got it on, but now it's just really bad. So I'm going to actually take that off. And what I'm using here is um, Studio Tools Professional Nail Polish Remover. And it is just the big bottle of it. I'm getting pretty low, so I need to get a new one. And I'm using a cotton ball to remove it. And normally I don't like using cotton balls to remove my nail polish. But um, just because the fuzz from the cotton ball can kind of get stuck on your nails but it's all I kind of had today so I'm just going to use it and take off my nail polish and what I love about OPI nail polishes which is what I have on my nails right now um, I think the color is pink flamingo but what I love about OPI nail polishes is that they're so easy to take off Okay, so once you are finished with uh, taking off your old nail polish, what I like to do is put on a um, lotion, but before that I like to file my nails, and I've already done that, and they are clean, so um, yeah, I like to do that. I, you never want to really cut your nails because it can split your nail and it's very bad for them so always file your nails and then I like to put on my lotion and wait a few minutes for it to soak into my hands and then wash it off all right so I already mentioned at the beginning of the video what kind of nail polish I would be using and it is Sally Hansen's complete salon manicure which you can buy at Walmart Target um, any drugstore I have definitely seen it at Walmart and Target though, and the color is I Pink I Can 510. This is what it looks like. Really, really pretty color. It's like a bubblegum pink. And what I love about this nail polish is actually it's 5-in-1 or 3-in-1, something like that. I think it's 3-in-1, but it has the base coat, top coat, and the color all in one, so you just need to do one coat. Um, Possibly two if the color doesn't show up very well, but knowing these, these colors show up really well. So just one coat and you have it all together really fast and easy. And so let's go ahead and get started. So I like to shake up my color and I like to start on my left hand and it's really easy. Just start from the middle of your nail and do one swipe, then go one side, the other side, and then the middle again. And it's just that easy. But if you have nail polish that has gone to the edges, you just want to take your nail, or if you have um, a little tool to get that, you want to get it right away. 
and the bottom as well. So you see you have a perfect nail just like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my nails. Okay, so now I am moving on to my right hand and I am actually painting with my left. And if you are right handed naturally, this might be a little difficult for you in the beginning. Um, it still is a little difficult, but what I learned is if you do the same technique as I taught you going from the middle and then doing um, the sides, but doing it quick sweeps, it tends to be a lot easier and um, it just seems to be just seems to um, be easier so just like this and it just seems to go by quicker and you don't have to worry about going really close you just you just want to do your best, but doing quick sweeps like this, if you are using the opposite hand of what you're used to, it is a lot easier. And keep in mind, you're not going to be pro at this from the start. Um, I'm certainly not pro at all. Um, I have just found techniques that I think have helped and... You just have to find a good position to do this too. I mean right now I'm hovering over my camera so it's a little hard but now you just want to go back and get the edges and see you are finished and it's really quick and easy especially with this nail polish. I mean, I've definitely found this helpful, especially for beginners. So if you're looking for a really good nail polish, quick and easy, um, but you're not really in a rush that you can't wait for it, you know, to dry because it will take a little bit of time. It's not there insta dry. But if you have the OPI drip dry, that will definitely help this or any um, fan that you want to put your... Uh, nails under that'll work just as well but I really do recommend the Sally Hansen complete salon manicure nail polishes and especially this I think I can bubblegum pink color it's so pretty